guys and welcome back to my channel April newly me if you are new but if you're one of my subbies hey YouTube besties so we kicked off the week with some chicken fajitas over rice I think I have a video about this um, that I previously made but it's super simple super affordable you just need chicken breast and you can use chicken thighs but this time I had chicken breast uh, cumin paprika garlic mustache pepper salt and some unsalted tomato sauce I use all three bell peppers, green, red, and orange, sometimes yellow. I think I had yellow for this one. And basically, you just want to chop them up. You want to try to get them uh, as uniformed as you can. When I say them, I mean your veggies, your bell pepper, and your onions, so everything cooks evenly. Um, this is kind of one of those in the middle of the week or one of those Sundays where I really don't have time or I just don't want to cook a very involved meal because all of this goes in one pot and you put it over rice and it's just, you know, fail proof. So here are all my veggies as well as jalapeno. I cut up two of those and we're going to go ahead and put those aside while we work on our chicken breast. Now, I am not a fan of chicken breast unless it's on a salad or in some heavy sauce because chicken breast is the driest part of the chicken. I season it heavily and I usually accompany it with a sauce or on a salad with some dressing. I am not team chicken breast. Um, so you can see I, I am very liberal with that daggone seasoning because it needs all kind of help i let those brown um, i usually put in the onions and jalapenos first then i'll go in as you can see with my bell peppers another reason why i like this dish because it's so colorful are y'all like that like i like eating colorful things uh, once everything is in there i am not the type of person that will shred my chicken breast or cut it beforehand i like to let it cook and then it'll kind of shred up itself that's also another indicator that it's ready to me but when I add anything to my pot, y'all know I've said this a thousand times, you add seasoning. If you add a protein, a vegetable, you add more seasoning. So that's what you can see I did there. A lot of minced garlic. I am team garlic over here. I also um, don't like to cook that long. If you can see, I did not keep it in the pot, you know, very long. And I also accompany it with sauce so it doesn't scorch or burn. Because that's one of the grossest tastes ever and it will ruin the whole dish. This took about 20 minutes, have it over rice. I have mine with half of an avocado with a little bit of pepper, salt, and red chili flakes. There's Tony's little boring plate. Um, but there's mine, and that was the chicken fajitas over rice. I know what you're thinking, like, dang, sis, y'all living like that, lobster and shrimp, and no, we're actually not. Um, we have what we call Tony's day. She takes care of me and spoils me. So I pick a day outside of Valentine's day to just kind of spoil her. Seafood is one of Tony's most favorite dish. So I just wanted to spoil her a little bit. Um, beforehand you saw me mixing up in a bowl, my seasoning as well as minced garlic. I'm so sorry y'all. I forgot to film beforehand what seasonings I'm using, but I like to sometimes mix things in a bowl and then put it on the meat. If I had the kitchen of my choice, I would get those big fancy silver bowls and mix all my proteins with the seasoning, but I don't have the counter space and our cupboard space. Literally, my kitchen is busting at the seams, but this is also a good way to season. I did this all the night before. I seasoned all the fish, as you'll see, and I put it in Ziploc bags and put it back in the refrigerator, and then the day of, we're going to grill it. But this is just me mixing up spices. This was also the first time I cut open and butterfly a lobster tail. I've never done this before. Usually when I buy lobster, it's out of the shell or I've cooked a whole lobster before. I've never did this and it was trial and error, but I watched a YouTube video <laughs> and got it right and they were cute. But here you can see how I bagged everything in the seasoning and I just put that in the refrigerator and again, you know, cooked it the day of, you know, the last one was struggling but the other two lobster tails look good this is the next day where i'm seasoning up my water because i will be baking some gold i think they're called york potatoes i love these potatoes way more than russet potatoes they just have a more creamier texture when you smash them um but yeah i always put salt and a, some kind of heavy oil in 
my potatoes as they boil just gives them a little bit more seasoning and flavor also want to do a little starter for Tony so I'm cooking up some smokies I'll show you a bit later what I do with that but for my potatoes I just put garlic pepper a little bit of salt some heavy cream and a lot of butter now I'm seasoning up those lobster tails with the garlic and lemon mixture and we're going to put those actually in the oven I did not cook those on the grill just because with the shell I thought I would cook a little better in the oven so I took those little smokies boiled them cut them at an angle and they make little hearts it was so super cute i'm so corny but um i definitely loved this little smoky hack i saw on pinterest tony was very appreciative she thought it was cute she knows she married someone corny but that was our starter and here i am cutting up some beautiful squash i love squash and zucchini and i think roasting and our grilling zucchini and squash are the best way to eat them so i was all over this i cooked so much of this i had it for two days after and y'all put it on a salad i just um put it in the oven to heat up again i put it over some eggs it was so good there are vegetables our lobster tail um you can see in the bowl there's the mashed potatoes put a little bit of cheddar cheese on top that's the shrimp and the fish and we grilled it on the actual tabletop. Tony was watching her game, but this is how we cooked the meal and it was very much delicious. This was a special occasion. The next meal we did was shell, stuffed shells and asparagus. I don't know why I'm saying me because I'm the only one that cooks, but chow, that's what we had. We used jumbo shells. Those are all of the seasoning that I use. Very simple, just boil your water. In the water again, a salt and an oil. Um, this was probably like my third time ever making this. I don't know why I don't have this in rotation. It's kind of like um, the same way you would do baked ziti and also um, a lasagna. Really simple, really affordable, but very hearty. Any kind of pasta will always fill you up. Now, here's some real deal, real life stuff. I am queen of freezing things. These are leftover sauces, probably two weeks old. I don't throw away nothing. I did not grow up with money. I make stuff last. Do you hear me? <laughs> so no shame in my game. Defrosted that, cut up some onions, and I wanted to saute those, get those a little softer. So you always want to put salt on any veggie that you uh, saute to pull out the moisture. And there I am with my garlic. Want to let that play around in the pan not to burn it. So I went ahead and put the meat in. I use two different types of meat. I use regular old um, ground beef and as well as an Italian sausage. And this is my first time using a sweet Italian sausage. So I did hit it with a lot of heat. You'll see in a minute I'll put in some red chili flakes because I just... I don't know sweet just freaked me out like at the time of ordering it I thought I was ordering spicy which we normally get and then when it came I saw sweet and I kind of freaked out but it turned out to be really really good the contrast between the sweet and the spicy there's the red chili flakes um it worked out really good and Tony and I really enjoyed it 
I love asparagus. I had some left over from Tony days and I went ahead and chopped those up. They're already cleaned. Um, when I get my produce, I usually clean them the day I get them. But chopped off all of the dead pieces that really don't have any flavor or nutrients. And I went ahead and lined a pan, you'll see in a minute, a cookie sheet with foil. And I'm just going to salt and pepper and put a little bit of oil on the asparagus and in a minute you'll see me rub it turn everything around because you want to get your asparagus coated in that oil so it doesn't burn it actually cooks in the oven and then just because I had some fresh parmesan I didn't want to waste it I went ahead and put parmesan on my asparagus and when I tell y'all I am doing this nine times out of ten that I cook asparagus I'm not even playing it was so good plus it made my whole kitchen smell like roasted parmesan cheese i was in heaven it looks burnt but it's not that's just the parmesan that got on the bottom of the um cookie sheet y'all i could have just had this and been completely happy but there are my shells stuffed with cheese and the meat sauce and then i just went ahead and put um dollops of the sauce on top there's also a layer on the bottom so it won't stick but i'm like also lining all of my pans with foil it just makes it that much easier to cook with until i get my dutch oven you know flat top for cooking when i move in a house i'll get that but until then i am lining everything with foil i don't care what y'all think i don't feel like scrubbing pots so anyway, that's in the oven on 350. Then you get this. It was a beautiful, hearty meal. There's my plate. Tony, you know, y'all know she like her peas. Back to my plate. It was great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and rocking with me. I really appreciate all of you guys subscribing and liking my videos. Until next time, y'all. Bye.